let's see the scalar multiplication so multiplying a matrix with a number is called scalar multiplication for example if you have a matrix like this 1 2 3 4 if i multiply it with a number instead of a matrix then it is called scalar multiplication so let's say i'm multiplying with 2 then what do i get so you have to take you have to take each uh, element in the matrix and then you have to multiply with the uh, number 2 then what do we get here 2 4 6 8 got it so this is the scalar multiplication so there are some properties on scalar multiplication we can we can look at it the definition is like this if a is a matrix and you know this is the matrix representation in a different form formal representation which means uh, we are saying that capital a is having element small a ij and whose size is m by n so if you keep here if you substitute in place of uh, i comma j all the possible numbers between uh, 1 and m and 1 and m then we are going to get the entire matrix that is this representation right then if this is a then uh, multiplying this matrix with the constant k like this or multiplying the matrix with the constant k is nothing but multiplying every element in the matrix with the constant k right so this is every element in the matrix we are taking every element in the matrix and we are multiplying with constant k that is called as scalar multiplication right and the theorem look at this theorem if a and b are two matrices then k into a plus b is equal to k a plus k b how did we get this so you can think of it this way if uh, a i'm just telling you the proof the proof is not required in case if you are interested you can watch it okay i'll just quickly finish it see if a is the matrix and matrix is going to be represented this way right so small a means each element of the matrix a is the matrix and small a means capital a is the matrix itself and small a means each element of the matrix right and now uh, if i write a plus b similarly we can think of b also like this formal representation so small b means each element of the uh, matrix b right then what do you think about a plus b how can we write it in, in terms of this if adding a, a and b is nothing but adding the corresponding elements isn't it therefore a i j it can be represented like this a plus b right a i j plus b i j this is the representation of a plus b right if a is of size m by n b is of size m by n a plus b will also be of size m by n right and now if you are going to multiply with k so here if i multiply it with k here if i multiply it with k then what happens is right you can take this k inside and we know that we can write it like this b i j right m by n then what is this entire number going to be you can distribute k because uh, it is scalar multiplication is distributive right so then what do we get k into a i j plus k into b i j right now we can again write it like this k into a i j m by n plus k into b i j m by n so what is this it is nothing but uh, every element of capital A the array the matrix capital A being multiplied with K here also it is every element of capital B being multiplied with K therefore it is KA plus KB so finally we get KA plus KB got it so that is that is uh, that is one way to prove it right similarly we can prove all of them uh, like the same you know using the same arguments now P plus Q into A p and q are two uh, scalars and a is a matrix then p plus q into a equal to p a plus q a similarly we can do the same here p into q equal to p q into a then minus one so same everything is same right so you can prove them anyway so these are some of the results and uh, theorems which are in this scalar multiplication okay fine